Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and g'day to Stephen Davey who is QBX, who looks after QBX's uh, business markets, its products and services. Stephen, good to see you. Thanks, now, Bernard. If I was uh, looking to get a business loan from QBX, what are the sort of questions that um, I might have to answer when I come in and have a chat? Mm, it, it is a, a business person coming in to, to see a banker. Um, you should actually expect to have a whole raft of questions asked of you yourself personally and also about your business and, and what you do and how you generate your income and how you go about doing that. Um, at the end of the day what we're really looking for from a business person is their clear understanding of how they um, do their day job, how they actually um, create their business, um, create what the business actually does so they can generate the income to service a loan with the bank and then we go through the other stuff which comes with loans like security and mortgages and so forth. So a, a business banker is first and foremost interested in you, what makes you tick and how you actually run your business. And then we'll go through with you all the questions you can think of in terms of how your business is set up, who owns it, its structure and your business plans. Yeah, that's quite interesting isn't it? Rather than just turn up and say I want X, uh, it's, it's worth it to drill down and work out how you generate your income, what your costs are, mm. what your um, personal aspirations are. How does that? If, how do those sorts of things affect um, the type of uh, business loan that you come up with? Yeah, it's really important that a, a business bank actually understands um, where you're going with the business and what you're doing. Different businesses are in different phases and at different stages. Um, you might have started up, and if you're starting up, you might need a little bit more help around managing your risks and making sure that any lending is paid back quite quickly so you don't leave yourself exposed to any changes in what your business might be going through. If you're a more mature business that's been set up and is running quite well, it might be a case of the banker figuring out there might be a different way of um, funding some of your payments in your business or a different way of perhaps moving your payments around into current loan structures to get better interest rate structures or moving it into, for example, into a different loan product so you can save some interest or extending loan terms, for example. So your business banker should really work with you and actually try and figure out where your business is actually at and then try and find the best product where your business is currently at. Because it's not necessarily all about just um, working another dollar on the, on the home loan, is it? Tell, tell us about some of those other alternatives. Uh, yeah, um, a lot of small businesses um, in New Zealand in particular do use their mortgage, their home loan, to, to fund their business, and that's perfectly fine. Um, so your banker will go through the normal business um, analysis with you, make sure your business can actually service and can pay back its debt. Their best product might be a 25 year mortgage at a, a home loan interest rate, and that might be the best thing for you. Or the best thing for you might actually be a three year term loan, so you can pay back that piece of equipment quite quickly. And after three years it might be obsolete, for example, so a printing press or a lathe or a piece of machinery, um, they depreciate quite fast. Having a 25 year mortgage to pay off an asset which is depreciating is not the best thing to do. Um, so your banker should work through what the core purpose of what you're borrowing the funds for and structure your loans and products appropriately. Waking it on the mortgage, as you said before, um, that, that can work if you're um, a small business that's a plumber or a chippy, uh, you just need a van that's five or seven grand, that's quite straightforward just to chuck up the mortgage. It won't make a big difference to you over a long period of time, but your bank will work that stuff with you as well. And it's interesting to, to hear that um, the types of products that you might need differ depending on where you are in the life cycle of the business. You know, if you're nearing retirement, or you're thinking about selling on the business to you know, someone else or passing it on to members of the family, that can change mm. the, the type of loan you might need as well, doesn't it? Yes, I can. Um, working with a, a good accountant, can of myself, and we always recommend our customers come to us with um, the right financial advice, and the accountant is part of who we recommend you talk to. Um, they will structure with you um, any estate planning and they can come to the bank with an idea of what they might need to do. So if you're, if you're 65 and looking to retire in either five or, in my case, perhaps seven years when we get to that point, um, you're going to have a different loan structure to make sure there's, there's nothing left behind when the business is finished. And that can help improve your business's valuation as well. If a potential purchaser looks at a business to buy, it's very cash positive, very cash rich, and actually has in place the right funding lines to keep the business running very successfully, that has a very strong valuation proposition for the customer as well. So not only are you putting yourself in a better position so you can retire, but you're also improving the asset of your business too so it can be on sold for someone else potentially. That's where it can be useful to have a more detailed conversation about um, how your business runs when you do that, that loan. It can be a, 
a trigger to improve your processes and your uh, measures of how the business is running mm. so that come down the track you may be able to, to sell it because you've got a, a very clear snapshot and forecast of what that business looks like now and could do in the, in the future. Yeah, and some of the benefits of um, talking with a, a business banker is that they've also got businesses and their other customers that might look like yours, or they know someone else in the bank, or their current bank, that banks a business like yours as well. So they can compare your business against those, and they'll, they'll know that the ratios of what your business should be doing and shouldn't be doing at certain points, and they can perhaps not give advice, but give you some recommendations and a steer as to what you might think of actually looking at doing. Excellent. Stephen Davey there from Kiwi Bank who looks after products and services for business and markets. Great to have a chat with you Stephen. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.